Hey guys! So today I was able to interview someone who was really important to me, my filming teacher, Miss Scott. Um, I was able to ask her a lot of really nice questions and she has some pretty cool things to say. So uh, here are the answers she had for me. nine miles, so it takes about ten minutes to get to the North Carolina state line. Mm -hmm. It's in southeastern Virginia. Okay, so um, was it your occupation that caused you to leave there, or was it like something you always wanted to you know, leave your hometown? I've always wanted to leave. Really? <laughs> Franklin is really small. Um, it's got a population of about 8,500. So, not a whole lot of opportunity. It gets pretty mundane Yeah. there. Town, nothing to do, so everybody's, everybody's in everybody's business. So I always wanted to go somewhere more northern than where I was. So um, first college took me to Petersburg, Virginia, Virginia State. Uh, <laughs> um, when I went to grad school, that was in Virginia Beach, it was Regent University, and from there, you know, I kept traveling further and further north. I went to Richmond, Richmond, Virginia, because I moved all around. <laughs> yeah, all up and down. All, yeah, just yeah. between North Carolina and Maryland. Mm -hmm. Just all up and down. So is the current career field that you're in now, is that what you wanted to do originally, you know, teaching? No, education was never on my list of careers oh, to explore. Actually, I ran from it because I always felt like education is one of the most important fields. Mm -hmm. and I was afraid that I would miss something and I would mess somebody up yeah. because I miss something. Um, so I never wanted to do it. I've always wanted to be a TV anchor. Now I've gotten away from that. I want to do more producing. I kind of don't want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> do you feel like that's something that you know came over time? The whole fear of being in front of the camera is fear. It's not fear. Being in front of the camera is a lot of hard work. Don't don't get me wrong, it's nerve wracking. Yeah. But it's um, it's something that's a lot harder than people know. Mm -hmm. When you're in front of the camera, and you're reading a teleprompter, and the teleprompter operator messes up. You have to look down at your script flawlessly, continuing to report whatever it is you're reporting. Um, also, if there's breaking news and your producer's talking in your ear, they mirror the little clear things called an IFB. Mm -hmm talking in your IFB and they're feeding you information as you're talking about something else. You're trying to usher the viewer into what you're hearing in your ear. So you can't just stop and end up. Yeah, you, you okay, have to I keep got going. It. You have to yeah. keep going. You have to be believable. Um, that gets to be pretty hard. I did that in grad school and I just said, you know what, I think production is more of a speed and not yeah, in front of the camera. I would encourage my young 
younger self to be more ambitious. Um, don't try to think so much in the box or do what you feel. Let me rephrase that. Think outside the box and don't don't base your decisions so much on what other people say works. Test it out for yourself. I learned that later and I just started sticking wild stabs in the dark and taking huge risks. Oh but, my goodness. But just starting out. Um, while steps in the dark worked. Yeah. But my younger self, I would say fresh out of college, undergrad or grad school, mostly grad school because I got the bulk of my experience in education about TV production from Reach University. They were so hands on. I probably would have gone straight to New York after that. Straight to DC, straight to New York if I could encourage. They love recent graduates. Take advantage and just go do it. Um, going back to what you had just said, Ashley, about you know taking full wild steps in the dark. Is there any specific moments that you remember that you really took a risk, but you know ended up working or turning out? Well, yeah, um, I can remember coming up here. This is like a couple of years ago. Wow. Came up here, no money, no no job leads didn't know what a handful of people and didn't know where all of those people were. Yeah. I just drove up here and stuff, job, started to job hunt. And, you know, of course I would research where I was going to go first. Yeah. So it would be a job fair or something. Oh <laughs> Some goodness. event. And I would drive all the way up here to either volunteer or go to a job fair or just meet with people. And I kept doing it and I would stay for days at a time. So I'd get a friend to let me stay with them for like a weekend. And one time it was of my job and came up here and ended up having to come right back because I got a job in here. What's up for you? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty. And so to finish this lovely, you know, interview that I have with you, a uh, bit of a random question, but what is the most random experience that you've had that later ended up being very positive? this is random because I did not know this person was coming. So um, I told you I came up here years ago and I freelanced a lot in DC and in Northern Virginia. So I was freelancing for the AUSA, um, it's, I forget what it's called, I just know acronyms. Oh it's an AUSA event that was at the Washington So I run over, get in the line, oh and he, it was my turn to take the picture, mm -hmm. and he looks at me and goes, Angela Bassett, oh, and then he no. puts his arm around, he knew it wasn't her, but he yeah. put his arm around me and took a picture, and oh, that's my goodness. random positive experience. That's, that's <laughs> really great. Well, it has been so much fun sitting and talking with you. Thank you so much Thank for you. doing this for me. And there you have it, guys. That was my interview with my family teacher, Miss Scott. I really enjoyed doing it with her. It was really fun talking to her. I'm very happy that she took time out of her schedule to do that with me. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.